Hello. So this is how I found a workaround to the one um, method for recording over a loop that already exists in an instrument track. So I have this instrument track here. And first of all, <laughs> let me apologize. This screencast has a delay in it. So I'm hearing the words I speak like a uh, half a second after I speak them. So if it's a little strange, that's why. But um, so here's the workaround. I have this track with a drum rack and it has some MIDI note clip data in it. I'll play this one for you. Okay, kick, closed hat, great. So say I wanted to play some other parts over it and keep this clip running. This is how I would do it. I would create a blank MIDI track. I route the track to my instrument. And it's also very important that I don't route it to track in, but I route it to the device in the next level under. So now I will play this clip and record myself playing notes with my push that will be routed from this track to this instrument, but recorded in this clip here. Let me demonstrate. Here we go. So that's that clip playing. And now I'm gonna record something else. It's gonna be out of time because there's a lag, like I said in the screencast, but let me record something. Here we go. There we go. So that one bar loop is still playing, but now I have a four bar snare solo, if you will. And I can record more if I want. So, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> just having fun. Um, you can see how I was able to use this, um, these MIDI clips, but still record over them in a separate track, a blank track. And it will record over into the arranger as well, if you want it to, like that. Oh, oops, that's good to know. If you mute this, <laughs> it'll mute this one. Uh, didn't think about that. It's been a while since I've done this. Anyways, this is how it works. So there you go, it works. And you can mute this separately without muting this track, obviously. So, hope you enjoy.